Okay, Amy's turn. Okay, um, I'll go dare. Oh. It's about time someone chose dare. We have to think of a really good one. Yeah. I thought you said no one else was home. No one else is home. It's probably not. Okay, I think someone's out there. It's your house. You check. Nope. I'm staying right here. No one's here. <laughs> Miles, I'm going to kill you. What are you even doing here? You're supposed to be at Owens tonight. So, I don't have to do what you say. I'm telling mom and dad. If I had known that that was gonna be the least scary thing that happened to me that night, I would have just gone home and gone to bed. I got it. Go over to the butcher house and knock on the door. That's stupid. Why? Because it's not even scary. <sighs> yeah, right. Um, it's only one of the most haunted houses in America. See that word you used right there, haunted? Dumb. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, Jolie, but unfortunately, ghosts are real. Once I said that, everything escalated really quickly. That's it. That's $138. That's like as much as you make in a week at the grocery store. As far as I was concerned, it was easy money. Let's do it. I'm in. <laughs> I agreed to not only knock on the door, but go inside this place that we all called the butcher house. Julie's brother gave me his video camera so that I could prove that I met the challenge. Are you seriously gonna explore the whole house? She has to. If she doesn't go inside every room, she doesn't get the money. Again, not scared. I would be. It was called the butcher house because that's what the guy who lived there did to his family in the 1930s. Supposedly, a few other people bought the place after, but kept moving out because they were so scared. There it is. There were rumors in town about older kids who had broken into the house through a basement window under the porch. Let's not waste any time. Go for it. All right. See you guys in the morning. Up until that point, I didn't think there was a chance in hell Amy would go through with it. But then she disappeared under the house, and it all became real. I think, you know, I think other people have been up here. Yeah, Karen's older brother had a friend who came up here one time. I think other people... I could have sworn I felt someone or something breathing on my neck. 
but still, I knew I was probably just scaring myself. So I was just gonna get into the rooms, show that I was there, and get the hell out. I could hear whatever it was out there for what felt like an hour. And then the noise just stopped. I didn't care about the money. I'd seen enough to know I had to leave. That's when my flashlight died. I was able to climb down the roof and get the hell out of there as fast as I could. I didn't go back to Jolie's house. I ran back home and slept in my parents' bed with them for the first time since I was like nine years old. The next day, all I could think about was watching that footage. You okay? I knew nobody would believe what I saw unless I could show them. Was it that bad? All right, here we go. What? No. It, it, it was recording for hours, but it's, it's all just static. Oh my God. Wait, what happened? You won't believe me. I was happy to be alive and safe in my own bed. Before I went into the butcher house, I didn't believe in ghosts. But she followed me. She still does.